In this video, I'll be showing you how to make mood boards for a website. This video is part two in a series where I show how I redesign my portfolio website. If you're interested in seeing part one where I plan out my website and create a sitemap, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. The first thing I do when I'm making a mood board for a design project is to start looking for inspiration. And one of my favorite sites to do that on is Pinterest. I do already have design and typography boards created, but I always like to create new searches and find fresh new design ideas. Since this is a portfolio website, I am technically the client. So I am just choosing images of things that I find inspiring and it's design that I like and I want reflected on my website. I always like to gather around more than enough images and then I pare those down when I create the actual mood board. You can use Photoshop, Illustrator, or whatever software you feel comfortable in, but I'm actually gonna create my mood boards in Adobe XD, mostly because I just like how easy it is to drag and drop images, which is something that I'll be doing a lot since I'm not exactly sure what I wanna create. I just kinda of wanna gather images together to create a cohesive look and feel. As I was gathering images, I noticed that there were a few themes I was drawn to. There was definitely a vintage, nostalgic-like bucket. There was also an analog vibe, which include a little bit of collage and a lot of sketching elements, giving you that idea of a creative process. I also gathered images for a super modern and minimal design, where I focused on black, white, grays, and simple typography. I started grouping some of these images together to create one cohesive mood board at a time. Whenever I felt stuck, I would move on to another one and just kind of use that to help build momentum. For these mood boards, I pulled out about six different colors for a possible color palette. By no means do I have to stick with these colors for my final design. It's mostly me gathering ideas for colors that I could use that would go together with this design. I actually love this phase of the design process of gathering inspiration, design, mood boards, and just putting together different ideas for a direction a project might go. It helps get me excited about the project. I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts on mood boards? Do you use them when you are working on new projects? Do you use a different program? Any tips for how you create yours? Leave a comment below. You can create as many mood boards as you need to, but since this is such an important project to me, I wanted to make sure to consider lots of different ideas. So I ended up doing about six different mood boards. Once you're content with the mood boards, export them and then look at them individually. I like to give myself a couple of days before I start narrowing down and pursuing one specific direction. This way I've had time to think about it. And these are the final mood boards. I love how all of them turned out, so it's definitely going to be difficult for me to narrow down on one or two directions. What are your thoughts? Which is your favorite mood board? Which one do you think would be good to pursue for my portfolio site? Let me know which one and why by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. As I mentioned before, this is part two of a series where I redesign my portfolio site. So if you want to check out the rest of the series, be sure to subscribe so you'll see those videos. I'll also link the videos down below in the description as they come out.